Hey, Annie here. If you've been watching my videos, you know how much I respect and admire Rabbi Tovia Singer. I have learned so much from this incredible man, and he does speak the truth. I know a lot of people want to refute it, but you know, he leaves no stone unturned in proving what he's saying. And if people have eyes to see and ears to hear, it's so easy to understand this. So he just put up a new video and he's talking about some of these gross mistranslations in the New Testament and how things were taken from the Old Testament, the Tanakh, and literally just, you know, twisted about to try to put the narrative of Jesus in there. And it's really, really shameful. And, but again, if you're a Christian and you, you're watching this video, open your ears okay because this is just unbelievable and it's it's not rocket science you can see it but anyway i want to point out this one scripture that he was talking about today and it was psalm 47 in the jewish bible and that's um psalm 46 in the english translations like the niv or the king james but this is king david talking about his sin and being so grateful that the Lord forgives him and that he doesn't have to bring a burnt offering for this, okay? And we've been saying this over and over again in these videos. <laughs> Contrary to what a lot of people believe, burnt offerings, blood sacrifices are not necessary for God to forgive you of your sin. It's a great misconception. But anyway, in Psalm 47 in the Jewish Bible, it says, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require. Now how plain as day is that? How much more clear can you get? David is saying that the Lord is forgiving him because he's coming with a new understanding of how he is to behave and what he's supposed to do for repentance. He's supposed to come with a repentant heart and he's supposed to try to do better. I mean, this is what activates this whole forgiveness thing, okay? It's plain, it's plain, it's plain, it's plain. All right, so then we get to the book of Hebrews in the New Testament. And this is the translation of it that they come up with okay now hold on to your hats here okay it says sacrifice and offering you did not desire but a body you prepared for me with burnt offerings and sin offerings now come on people if you don't understand that this has been twisted and mangled then there's really no hope i mean but a body you prepared for me? It does not say that in the original scripture at all. This was inserted in there to insinuate that Jesus is that body. Now, why would they do that? Why in the world would they take this scripture and change it and make something completely different out of it? But a body you prepared for me? It's not in there. It's not in there. Please, please just go and check these scriptures against the original Hebrew word and you're going to see over and over again what they've done to trick you, to deceive you into believing that Jesus is real, that we need him as a sacrifice for our sins. When the Tanakh tells us countless times we don't need a mediator, okay? Okay. Just open your ears, open your eyes and go read this stuff. Stop worshiping this idol. Stop thinking that you have to go through some mediator to get to God. It couldn't be further from the truth. You are inhibiting the power of God to work in your life by believing this nonsense. And if you hear it now and you ignore it, then that's on you, okay? Because I can understand the people that don't know this. I mean, I didn't know this till recently, but if you're here, it's because God wants you to hear this so that you get it. You're not here listening to me or Rabbi Tovia or anybody else who's talking about this 
by accident. You're not here to try to refute this. You're here to hear this message. God has led you to the truth, but it's up to you to receive it. It's up to you to receive it. To help you more in your walk with God, I've created a Bible study group that we're going to be starting up on July 12th. It's going to be worldwide. We have already a lot of people who have joined from all around the world, and we're going to start studying the Hebrew Scriptures and learning what they really say and gaining greater understanding about God's plan for our lives and for the whole of humanity. I will put the information about this study group in the description box below, and I'll also put a link to my new Facebook page as well that you can join and kind of keep in touch with everyone. But let's just work together, study together, learn together, and grow in the knowledge of Hashem and His truth, okay? That's why you came here. You might think that you're here to refute me, but I'm telling you right now, the Lord sent you here to hear this truth so you can open your eyes and come before Him into repentance and to start connecting with Him one-on-one -on -one because that's His true desire, okay? That's His true desire. So thanks for watching today. And I appreciate you all, and I wish nothing but blessings upon your life.